lost all power, so I think my main on and off switch is dying. Really dying. That's that's hard. Oh, there's nothing wrong with that. I think we should power that up as well. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> so it's all working well or is it a complete nightmare? We don't know yet. We haven't even tried it. It's uh, it's not been tested uh, in this format. And we're gonna find out a little later on how it's going. Well, just two seconds. Robot wars, which basically is a war between robots, or it's robots <laughs> fighting. <laughs> Britain is about to witness the birth of robot wars, which is all about robots fighting. Britain is about to witness the birth of robot wars, which is all about robots fighting. For the last six months, teams from all over Britain have been building these robots. And they're in the pits now. they're going now. to destroy them. Now they're going to destroy them. <laughs> and now we're going to destroy them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> better go and have a look. <laughs> what they look like. Okay, we better get over to the pits and uh, we're... Where Forrester. they're just preparing... Well, yeah. so I've got to introduce Philippa. Preparing, preparing for battle. And you introduce Philippa Forrester as with the contestants. Yeah. Come on. The producer's just come and told us off because um, apparently this was upside down yesterday. We didn't notice. Which thing? Which way did we know? Which way is upside down? I'm a bit disappointed though, because we quite like that amateurish go-kart you made yourself <laughs> in the garage feel to it, but that's how we'll always think of it. Are we allowed to see your robot with no clothes on? Oh yeah, he's not shy. Do you ever take your waistcoats off though? That's what I want to know. Oh, we have to wear them. The other two team members who couldn't make it made us wear them. <laughs> we want to introduce each team. Right. In their pits area, with their robot, you know, maybe the robot in the foreground, in their, in their kind of garb, and it's got to be cheesy in, in, in a sense. It's got to be, you know, hi, I'm so and so, this is so and so, this is so and so. We're Team Warthog, and this is our robot, blah blah blah. And into the camera, please, and off we go. We're Team Cold Fusion, and this is our robot, Body Hammer. Thank you guys, that's yeah. And then Talk, and then they, we need to film each team talking us through their robots. This is our robot, Tracy. She's in the heavyweight category, and as you can see, she's quite sturdily built. It's got a unique facility that can turn upside down and still continue going. That's why I have the casters on both top and bottom. Nemesis' primary weapon is a pneumatic ram, 150 PSA pneumatic ram. Even though we might look furry and friendly, we've got a 2 mil stainless steel can. We're going to take plenty of bashing. We tried to alleviate as many problems as possible. We always get little problems that we have to iron out on the day. Sergeant Bash was painted the, for the morning of the very first studio. In the morning of the studio, I still couldn't decide on what sergeant stripes looked like. I was asking loads of people, what do American sergeant stripes look like? And nobody knew. So, so eventually, we had a vague idea of what British sergeant stripes looked like. So we put those on the shelf. <laughs> The problem with the turntable was that one of the motors had burnt out. Um, it's a sort of problem that we encountered quite often, but you never know quite when it's going to happen. To actually see it kind of come to life before my very eyes was very exciting and very rewarding. Also, there was a, an edge of uh, concern because essentially Robot Wars is a game show, it's a sport, it's a competition. It's only ever as good as the competitors. And so at this stage, we'd done all we could do. If the robots were up to scratch, if the robots broke down, then the show wouldn't work. We were very fortunate. All the teams were great, the robots were great, and uh, all the people pulled together and created a great show. And for that, I'm very grateful. <laughs> some of the best technicians, engineers and radio control experts in Britain today. But even though there's only a few seconds left before the first event, they're still making final adjustments. Confirmation, please, that the arena is clear and safe for combat. The arena is clear. The arena is clear. Shots of the robot ears, please, on two. Stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Robot Wars. Can we just clear the arena, please? It'll be all over in seconds. 
two, Baxon, Crater, one. go, off go the robot. Nemesis gives Shunt the eye, nice and, tight on five. That and that evil grin, Spikes are deadly as well. It's all about traction and torque. It's a little pneumatic ram, shaped like a viper's tongue that could come out any minute. A kill off Shunt, Colin, can you see the controller? Yeah, surely, we thought Shunt was unbeatable and fearless. Go on, Shunt, get out! That was my friend, and you knocked him off. Who are we up against? Who do you want to be up against? I'd say we'll have a chance with all of them. With all of them? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so it won't matter. Follow me down the table to meet your opponents for the semi-final, the Roblox team. Hi. Trouble is, we just can't seem to make up our mind what blade to use. <laughs> How long do you think, just for Sergeant Brown? Um, about five minutes now, because everything's, everything's going back on now. Yeah. It's, it's like you're uh, under the Archer's garage. It's, um, ooh, ooh, where'd you buy this one, girl? Ladies and gentlemen, please clear the arena for the grand medal. Six of them are going into the arena now for the very last time, and the excitement here in the pits is intense. We cannot wait to watch it. There'll be crowds around the monitor. We're going to enjoy this just as much as you are. Can we put the robots in the spot, please? That's the idea. In the audience, please clap and cheer, but make sure you don't stand up. You must remain seated during combat. Two years of work in the sticky bun leading up to this one moment. Different faces. Jerry B's. Good. We've been through them while I've been chatting. Voice over. Three, two, one. Activate. And recycle up to Robert the Bruce there to the left hand side and the dangerous roadblock. Nathan gets the rules. But up on each side, recyclops. Down it comes, the turn takes a fearful fashion. Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Five seconds. Five great. Absolutely amazing. Recyclops! And then attacking by Roadblock as paid off Recyclops is out. We're down to three. And there's Rebel the Bruce up on inside and goes as well. And that leaves two. Cease! Cease! See the crowd. See the audience, please. See the audience. Lights on the audience. Jeremy, are you with me? Can you hear me? Second. Can you hear me, Jeremy? Yeah. We have a decision. All right, quiet down, everybody. Quiet down. We have a decision. A unanimous one from the judges that the winner, the British Robot Wars champion, Series 1, is Roadblock! You did it, guys! You did it! There it is, the trophy. And a very, very well-earned one, if I may be so bold. So there you have it. If this look behind the scenes has inspired you to build your own robot, then please contact us first. Details are coming right up. Thanks for watching. And remember, you've seen the flamethrowers and the circular saws. Now you've seen the making of Robot Wars. Bye-bye.